Hi, I'm Marna, and this is one of my new Blythe dolls that I have named Moon. And I wanted to show you that she is ball jointed, and can you see the ball there? And fully articulated. I just, I love these Blythe dolls. Their legs go forward, oh, see how articulated? Forward, back, and out to the side. They have articulation at the waist, their arms just do anything you want. They twist and turn, their wrists move, and you get extra hands. Well, you can buy them. Um, I really like these dolls. These are really fun dolls, for, uh, particularly for people on Instagram that do a lot of pictures. Um, they have that whimsical look to them with that big head and the eyes that change colors and directions. And Darren did something really fun for this doll. I wanted a spaced theme doll, so that's why her name is Moon. And Darren made this stand, and I don't know if you can see the moon texture to that stand. And he also, what, you want to talk about this? Sure. The base of the stand is just a, a topography from NASA's uh, scanning of the moon, so it's actually a moon crater. And the lunar lander is the part that everybody knows landed on the moon. And then the other part's the command module that circled the moon while the lunar lander landed. There are a lot of little things you can buy for your dolls. Um, I like these dolls for the crafting. I like making them outfits. But you have to have the right size items. So I took Moon shopping with us, and this is what we found. When you buy buttons for your smaller dolls, you want the itty bitty doll of uh, buttons for Barbies and Blyce and Skippers and the small dolls like that because these that seem small are huge. And depending on the outfit, it just, you know, it depends on the doll and the doll size. When you're looking at fabrics for your doll, you want small print. And this would be a real cute bandana print. But this, when you took that home for Barbie or your smaller dolls, you can see how big that would be. And this piece here would be too big, in fact, for the chest area. Even Blythe likes mermaid sequins. Blythe dolls have the string in the back, and a lot of people, including myself, bead those. This is waiting for a charm to come in the mail, but and this isn't finished, but I just stuck that on there. Her name is Moon. But um, here are some lovely charms that would work for the back of your string. Look at that, 62 cents, and it has an initial and a little bling on there. It's really cute. And there's some others. Just one place to look when you're in Hobby Lobby. Unless you're replacing your string, which a lot of people do. This is a really nice heavy cord and I'm probably not going to. I might add one, but I'm not replacing it. But for example, say, whoop, look what I did. <laughs> um, what you want if when you're looking at beads is to pull them sideways and make sure they have a very large hole. You can't use just any beads unless you're using fish line. If you're buying pom-poms for Barbie, Blyce, any of the smaller dolls, for their clothing, you want the smaller pom-poms. But if you are buying this for the top of a Blythe hat or an 18-inch doll, you'd want to go with the larger pom-poms. The felt is 50% off today, and this is really cute. Felt is not what it used to be, but it does provide a non-fraying edge, which really makes it easier, especially for beginner crafters, or myself, where you don't have to have uh, backing for whatever you're making for your doll. 
Here's a hat, a scarf, and mittens that might fit an 18-inch doll. These are actually for building like a styrofoam snowman, but these would be half price too. I have the world's smallest light bright. Mm, the size is a little iffy on it, but look at the Hot Wheels. How perfect would that be for my boy Blyce? Can you see Blyce's hand? I have it sticking out um, so that you can, see. let me turn it this way. So you can kind of see um, the size. They have silver doll bells, or what you could use on Christmas outfits with bells. This was a variety pack, but I'm gonna go with this because I wanted it for the smaller size dolls. Um, we're gonna use the 40% coupon on this one. This is $3.99. It's got some different sizes. I do like those, but I'm gonna go with this. That was cool. Mm -hmm. And they have these cute ornaments. She's got her hand in the hair like a rodeo rider. <laughs> this makes good trim for Barbie or Blythe clothing, Christmas clothing. And these could be used for your um, 28 inch Barbies or your 18 inch dolls for a little Christmas tree. This shirt is too big for Blythe, but if you wanted to cut that off the dog for a dollar, that'd be cute on a Ken doll. It would be short-sleeved, but you could make that work uh, for Ken doll. Here's a wine bottle cover with a little hat. It won't fit Blythe, but that would fit Barbie, perhaps Ken. And you could take this fabric that is actually kind of velvety. I'm, I'm surprised how nice it is. You've got a belt buckle, you've got gold ribbon, the hat for a dollar. It's a great buy. These little wrap packages would really be cute for, hold, for your uh, Blythe dolls, Barbie dolls, smaller dolls to hold in photos. This is the perfect size for a Blythe doll. It's a little too small for Barbie. It would work, but it's a little bit too small. But it's a great size for Blythe. These little party favors that are trophies would be cute. You could have like uh, some sort of Olympics or something. Maybe um, awards for acting. One figure inside. I did like those. I did like getting those. And here are the different ones they have. So there are quite a few. They have all these Mardi Gras stuff, which I guess New Year's Eve. It's a little too small for her, but I'm wondering how that would be on Barbie. If you can see, it's not awful. It's not terrible. You could make it work. But how about a saxophone? Okay, now that is cute. That is very cute. These beads are real cute for um, doll necklaces or the back of your strings for your Blythe. You could even put their names on it if you had a lot of dolls. 325 pieces for a dollar. That's not a bad buy, and they are kind of cute. I've seen people use these to put their, organize their doll shoes in, like uh, your Barbies or your Blyce or your little dolls. Just put them in the little containers. You can make clothes and hats with uh, the gloves. And Valentine's Day is coming quick, 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 and that'd be really cute to make some doll clothes out of. This is new, two bandanas for a dollar. That's a good deal, not only for doll clothes, but just for using the bandanas. If you can't find fake fur to make doll clothes out of, which is getting harder and harder to find, you can buy stuffed animals. Like, you could make a coat. That, I bet those arms would fit uh, Blyce arms, or a vest or a jacket out of that. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, 
a comment, and subscribe.